Twelve teens from schools across the far north got to do something extraordinary recently. They formed a crew on an old-style sailing ship, learned how to sail her and then developed and ran a day-long programme of activity for 12 Special Olympians who also joined the voyage. The voyage around the Bay of Islands was one of 16 normally run each year by the R. Tucker Thompson Sailing Trust, a social enterprise that runs tourism sailings over the summer. It uses the profit from these, along with sponsorships, to fund youth development voyages over winter. The voyage in early October was sponsored by Far North District Council owned company Far North Holdings, which sponsors one voyage a year. For lots of the trainees on board, they really did take it seriously. They really wanted not just to prove to the crew or anybody else that they could do it, but they really wanted to prove to themselves, especially our captain on board. He was really excited about his role and he really wanted to prove to himself that he can do it. Typically on any voyage, the first day when we gather on board the ship, they're usually from different schools, so they don't know each other, which this group was exactly like. And they're sitting around the back of the helm and they're all just hands to themselves and a bit shy at first. And then as the week progresses, you know, the more time they spend together, the more they get to bond, they get to know each other. And then come the end of the week, they're sitting around by the helm again, they've all got their arms around each other, they're all smiling, all laughing and joking around. And so it's quite um, rewarding seeing that, I guess, just seeing that change. And, all that they've learnt and so on. This year's Far North Holdings sponsored voyage was special. The Northland youngsters were joined on day five of the seven day voyage by youngsters from Special Olympics New Zealand. It was a different voyage to our typical youth voyage. So this one was a leadership voyage. So basing leadership into these teenagers. Yep. And so what we basically did is from day one to four, we were training these guys and getting them familiar with the ship so that by day five they could take over and take out a group of Paralympics and basically they just run the whole show and all the crew step back and so that was the whole goal of the trip for the crew. David Laird of Special Olympics New Zealand says the Special Olympics youngsters took a lot from the experience. Without a doubt it, it, it takes our people way beyond the, anything that they've experienced before and uh, out of their comfort zone, a lot of them. They climbed the rigging, they went out on the bowsprit and uh, actually got to um, steer the vessel. So th those are real, really good experiences for our people. And in all those things, they were guided by the young trainees. Hope Kurafa is a 16-year-old student from Kirikiri High School and one of the trainees on the voyage. Having the Special Olympians on board was really cool because we got to see a new perspective and uh, meet new people and it was really great. It was scary at first but I got through it and we got to build on teamwork skills together. It's giving youth of our district a, an opportunity to uh, learn leadership skills and um, take lifelong learnings from that experience they get from this cruise. Um, that's why Far North Holdings is really keen to support the Thompson Trust. This is Peter Heath in Opera for Due North TV.